everyone, welcome back to another episode of MEW or Matt's Extreme Wrestling, where today we have for you a review that I have been waiting to make for a little bit now. We have the Walmart exclusive AEW Unrivaled Supreme Collection Cody Rhodes, and I have been waiting to add a Supreme Cody into my collection for a while now. I know the regular one was out, but I kind of wanted to find the Walmart one first. And I finally found it. Just w what a figure. What a figure in the box. Uh, mock collectors are going to love this. I'm going to try and find a second one to keep mocked because of my Walmart exclusive mocked collection that I have started. So yeah, that's it. Let's get into the review. So you have the huge front viewing window right here of the AEW entrance right here. Uh, you got Cody Rhodes down there. You got the 12 the twelve pieces down there. Walmart logo sticker up at the top right there. And you also have the AEW Unrivaled Supreme Collection gold sticker up there. You do have the side view right here with the extra legs and the extra arms right there. You have picture of Cody right there. This is the zero, zero 01B Series 1. Um, I have been informed that the Kenny Omega is going to be the next Walmart exclusive. So there should be a Walmart exclusive Kenny releasing in the future, I believe. But yeah, so that's everything on this side. And we will flip it over to this side where there is a whole bunch more accessories. You can see all the accessories in there, all in there. This is a different shirt than the regular Supreme, as well as the weight belts, I believe, are different. Same with the attires. There's two completely di different attires in here. Back of the box shot right here of Cody himself. Supreme AEW logo up here. This is from Dynamite Grand Slam 9-22-2021 from Queens, New York. You have Watch AEW and Rampage. Remember, always watch it. And yeah, guys, it is that time. Let's crack Cody Rhodes out of his packaging. Alright guys, so before I take him fully out, I just wanted to show like how he came out of the box. So he has these pieces right here, and then he has the big centerpiece that comes out. I just thought I'd show this really quick, but let, let's finish getting Cody out of the packaging. Alright guys, and here is our Supreme Cody with all of his great accessories out of the packaging, and I just gotta say this first, I am loving everything. It was such an experience to get him out of the box. It wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be like once I got to cutting the tape and separating it I was able to get it really really clean cleanly out of the packaging so how we're going to do this is we're going to go over all of his accessories then we'll dive into the figure himself and then we're going to compare him to another Cody in my collection and then we're going to compare him to a, a WWE Ultimate Edition just to see how he compares but yeah Let's dive into Cody's accessories. Alright guys, and diving into Cody Rhodes' accessories first. Oh my gosh, where to start? Um, uh, we'll get the microphone out of the way. Let's get the microphone out of the way. So, he does come with a really, really nice AEW microphone. You know they gotta put them into these figures. So, I don't mind that. I like getting the microphones. And, he does come with some interchangeable fisted hands. One of them with the white hand tape, which is really, really nice. And... This one's new. I noticed it while taking him out of the packaging. If you guys see there, it's very, very tiny, but he does have what appears to be a diamond tattoo in there. So I'm assuming that's like a wedding ring tattoo, I think, which is really, really cool. All the, all the left hands have it, so that's really nice to see that it was consistent, but yeah. Um, we'll get the arms out of the way. So. These are his interchangeable arms out of the packaging. They are the regular arms as the jacket arms are right there. But you do have these. And basically what you'll do is you'll grab your figure. And this is the left arm. So you'll pop that in there. And then move it down. Because he will need arms for the regular portion of the review when we're reviewing him. But yeah. There are his regular arms in there, and you do see the white wrist tape there, and there is the tattoo right there. So, nice and consistent. I really do like that a lot. And for other accessories, it wouldn't be Cody Rhodes without his weight belts, and he does come with two of them. So you have the one. I'll put this one down really quick. 
It does say the American Dream on there, and you can see down there on the bottom. It does have his uh, his logo on there. It does say Cody Rhodes right there. And over there, really, really tiny, it does say Double or Nothing on there. This is definitely my favorite of the white belts. And he also does have a black weight belt with Nightmare on it. Really, really nice. I do like this a lot. He does have his logo in there. Really, really nice. I do like that. And for the interchangeable head sculpts, we'll look at this one first. Now, I know a lot of people with the first Supreme were complaining about these. This one reminds me, or these remind me, of his TNT Championship Cody heads so these actually look better than what i've seen from the first one you got the blonde hair in there this is the screaming one really really good i do like this one and then you also do have a happy smiling head or more of like a laughing head really really nice i do like this one and then and then out of the packaging on the figure he does have this head we'll go over this head more in the review of cody himself and he also does come with a really, really nice Cody Rhodes t-shirt. I love this shirt. This is definitely this is definitely one of my favorite cloth accessories that AEW and Jazzers has done. We are going to see what this looks like on the figure. And here's what the t-shirt looks like on the figure. It does fit pretty good. I just wish it wasn't so long. Like, maybe if the shirt stopped right about there, it would be better, but... Hey, it's cloth, it's a t-shirt, I will never complain about it. It does Velcro in the back, which is really, really nice. I do like that a lot. And he also does, there, here is the interchangeable attire for the figure. It is a nice shiny blue and black and with the white boots with the logo on it. This is a big positive for this figure is it has both attires have his logo on the shoes, which are really, really nice. I do like this, but... This is definitely probably my favorite. I do like the all red, which is really, really nice. But I think this one, I think this one's a little bit better. Not by much, but it is a little bit better. I do like this one. You got the nice blue. You got the silver details in there, the black. Then the black on this side, really, really nice. There's the back. We will look over the one that is on Cody when we get into the figure review. And we also have the jacket. And we will grab the arms in a moment. This is a beautiful jacket. There is so much sculpt in here. Detailing. Just nice sculpting. This is beautiful. You got the cut in the back. Which is really, really nice. Oh, this is so nice. It does it does pop in right there. Which is really, really nice. There's what the inside looks like. But you, got, you got the beautiful gold. The blues. The whites. The reds. The blacks. This is awesome. And then you have the jacket arms, which this one would plug in plug in right there. And then this one would plug in right there. So that's basically what the jacket looks like with the arms in there. Really, really nice. I do like it. And he also has the interchangeable, like, accessory wielding hands. Or the grabby hands. Because these are the mic holding hands that are in the figure. Um, on those arms, and then these have the accessory wielding hands, which are really, really nice. I do like these a lot. And guys, that's it for Cody's accessories. So, let's take the shirt off of Cody, and we will dive into Cody Rhodes himself. Alright guys, and now diving into Cody Rhodes himself, starting out with the head sculpt. And diving into the head sculpt, I like this one the most i think th they're all good like like that's the thing is they're all good they're all good they're all needed i might even use the head sculpt that's on my tnt cody but these three are good i do like them but i think this one is my favorite out of the bunch but yeah this is definitely my favorite of them i do like this a lot i do see cody here uh going down into the neck tattoo it's a little bit different than the TNT Cody, but I do like it a lot. A really good tattoo. And you do have the dream across the peck right there. Uh, going down into the torso, uh, the butterfly joints are really, really nice. I do like them a lot. They're nice in movement. There's a lot of movement to them. He does have the shoulder articulation, which is really, really nice. He does have the bicep movement in there. Double jointed 
pinless arms, which are really, really nice, and you do have the wrist articulation in there. Same thing over here with the bicep and the double jointed arms, just no wrist tape, which is, which is all right. Um, he does have a really good ab crunch because he is an a AEW figure, so you get the really good ab crunch with them. And going down into the tights, these are the tights that really clash with the uh, attire, well, clash with the coat. And it makes it really, really cool. I love how the coat can connect with this attire. Got the wrinklings up here, which look really, really nice. He can kick forward very, very well. He does have a slight waist swivel, but, you know, due to their technology, he can't do the full 360, which is all right. Splitsies are really, really good. And he does have the upper thigh cut on both legs, which are really, really nice. And he does have double-jointed pinless knees, which are... Really, really nice. You got a nice winged, almost like an eagle logo right there, or maybe like a mask, which look really, really nice. And he does have the upper boot rotation, an ankle rocket, as well as a slight ankle pivot, and the toe pivot, which is really, really nice. You got the nice Cody Rhodes logo right there, which is really, really nice. But yeah, there's all the movement for the legs, and the legs are in the nice red base with the dark blue, the gold and the white, which looks really, really nice. You got a nice, like, uh, scaly pattern along the top, which looks really, really nice. You got the one logo here, but it is blank here. You got some nice gold right behind it. But yeah, there's, ju there's just so much articulation with this figure. It is, it is just crazy. Crazy articulated. Crazy articulated. But that's going to be the thing with these Supreme figures, is they're going to be really articulated, really detailed, really, really nice. I like this figure a lot. But yeah, a really solid figure in, in the in the figure review. So now we're gonna pop those legs off and we're gonna put these legs on. So yeah, let's do that really quick. Alright, and there's what those legs look like on Cody, which look really, really nice. And for a quick articulation review on these as well, he can kick forward. He does have the upper thigh cut. On both, he can do the splitsies very, very well. And he does have two double-jointed pinless knees in there. The upper boot rotation, the ankle rocker is a little bit stuck, but he does have a really nice ankle pivot and the toe pivot, which is really, really nice. And for detailing, he does have his logo on both sides, which is really, really nice. He got the nice gray detailing. Really, really nice. So, I'm going to put the other legs back on Cody, and we're going to do some figure comparisons now. All right, guys. In comparing Cody to the only other Cody in my collection, we have we have a ringside exclusive TNT Cody right here up next to the Walmart exclusive Supreme, and he is a little bit taller. I will say, he's a little bit taller, which is all right. But I want to see what these legs look like over here because basically I have three Codys, so we're gonna do that really quick. Oh, that totally works. That is so cool. But yeah, here's the ringside exclusive legs on the Supreme Cody. And that, th look at that. There's a whole new figure. That That is so cool. I absolutely love it. And yeah, that is really, really cool. And for another comparison that I want to do. All right. And of course, I had to do it. Comparing him to a Mattel WWE Ultimate Edition, we have... The Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns, and these scale up really, really nice. I do like that a lot, and this is my match that I want to see for WrestleMania next year. I want to see Cody return and win the Rumble, and then go on to WrestleMania and dethrone Roman. In a perfect world, that is what we will see. But we'll have to wait till the Rumble to see if Cody returns in the Rumble, but I... That'd be the best possible scenario. That would be awesome. Yeah. So that's it for the Cody comparisons. All right, guys, and that is going to wrap things up for the review today on the brand new Walmart exclusive AEW Unrivaled Supreme Collection Cody Rhodes. Now, this has to be one of my top favorite figures so far. I may be a little biased because I'm a huge Cody fan, but I absolutely love this figure. I can't wait to compare this one to the Mattel Creations exclusive Cody that'll be releasing 
I think middle of next year, hopefully. Hopefully we hear something from that figure soon because I'm really excited for that figure to start shipping out. But yeah, just just huge 10 out of 10 figure. Not, not a lot of complaints. Then again, the only things that I would complain about are the head sculpts and maybe signature pose hands for Cody because, you know, he does this pose and then the pyro goes off. I would have liked to have seen some, like, flat hands, or maybe a little more opened hands to do, like, this pose, and then you have the pyro go off behind him, but those would be my only gripes about the figure, but other than that, a really good figure, but yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy the review today. If you guys did enjoy it, please leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe to the channel with turning on that notification bell so that way you guys never miss a upload here on the channel. Go follow my Instagram and... If you guys would like to pick up this figure, you will have to track it down at Walmart. This is a Walmart exclusive. I believe it is hitting shelves, but if you guys don't find it on your shelves, um, I asked an employee, a very nice employee, and I wish I knew their name because I would shout them out, but they, they were super nice. They helped me find this figure, took them about 10 minutes, and they found it. So, yeah, go check your Walmarts. It... I believe is up on walmart.com. But yeah, that's it for the review. I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you all in the very next review. Have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. And peace.